Hi, I'm Travis Burnett, Practical Farm Research Grounds with Bex Hybrids. Over the weekend, we had some questions on Twitter about sugar in furrow. Uh, 2015 would have been the first year we tested sugar in furrow. That would have been in Ohio, and we had uh, you know crazy good results in 2015. So we decided to expand on that study in 2016, where we tested sugar in furrow both in Indiana and Ohio. Now, in 2016, we decided to not only test sugar with a water carrier, but we also added an, another variable to it. And we, we tested sugar in a uh, starter fertilizer application. In this case, it was a 6246 starter fertilizer. Um, 2016's results, uh, if you look back in, the, in, in our PFR book, they weren't nearly as promising as, as what we saw in 2015 and were mixed at best. Uh, so going forward in 2017, Again, we're going to expand on this study because there's a lot of talk with this throughout the industry and we want to bring you those answers. So 2017, we're testing sugar in furrow in four locations. Um, you know, and the theory behind this is to feed the microbial life within the soil, particularly in that root zone, uh, in turn producing more yield. So going forward, 2017, we're testing multiple sugar sources. So in the past, we've just looked at a, a simple uh, uh, sugar you buy out of a baking aisle at, at Walmart. Uh, this year we've got some feed grade dextrose. We have other liquid sources of, of sugar that are made particularly for this application. So we're expanding on this. Um, we just wanted to keep you in the loop with how things are going with this study. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below or use the hashtag AskPFR and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, I'm Travis Burnett, Practical Farm Research Agronomist with Bex Hybrids. Thanks for watching.